Welcome back to Art Journal with me. This is part three. And previously we added a bunch of paint. And as I had said in the previous episode, I really like to blend in the lines. So this paper that I'm working with right now is a deli paper that I have stamped over. It's hard to see the blue stamp lines, but there are some textures there. Okay, now I'm gonna add some more color, the pink and the blue that we used before. I'm gonna use a sponge um, to try and get the two-tone effect, create a little purple, and then create some more texture, really working on those areas that we're trying to fade and blend in. Don't be afraid to add a little water. Right here I'm spraying the water onto my palette, but I also spray a lot onto the page.
here's one of those times I mentioned about spraying water right on the page. I added some color, then I sprayed it. Now I'm gonna play with the hair dryer to get it to move around and see what kind of um, look I can get. I'll dab it with a tissue or baby wipe and let it move some more. Dabbing if it's getting too thick in one area, but it can really make a huge difference in the texture. Okay, so now it's time to put some more, another stencil layer or two or three on there. I generally work in threes. I don't like even numbers. So if I'm gonna add some um, parts of the stencil to my art piece, I will choose three different areas to put it on. Four would be an even number and five just seems too much. Um, doesn't balance it very well, but it's up to you. I like to use the makeup sponge with my stencils. I find it easy to use and they're so low cost that once I've used every portion of it, I can just throw it away. I tend to ruin paint brushes because I don't clean them. I like to mix my colors right onto the stencil and not to over blend them. I like to see the contrast in the colors.
funny shape thing that I'm working with now is actually a piece of mylar plastic that I cut into a shape. You could use a piece of paper, a piece of cardboard, anything just to give yourself some random lines or textures or whatever. This kind of reminded me of a cloud, so I'm using it in that way. that's as far as I'm getting with this today. So thanks so much for tuning in and stay tuned for part four of Journal With Me.